We are getting a look at video from inside the Tulsa County Jail showing an inmate becoming violent with detention officers. The inmate broke his neck while in custody. He was later released, though, the sheriff's office says, to avoid Tulsa County paying for his costly medical bills. As Brian Miller shows us new at 10, the former inmate now faces new charges related to this video. Yeah, Brian Karen, a sheriff's office spokesperson telling me today there's no video from that jail cell that shows Phelps breaking his neck and pelvis while in custody. Those injuries ultimately leading to his release and the DA dropping the charges. Video shows inmate David Phelps standing in the jail pod, then picking up a chair, throwing it at a guard before lunging at him. Phelps then appears to injure himself, grabbing at his back and lying down until deputies arrive. It picks up in the hallway, with Phelps being carried to his cell. Deputies say Phelps also bit an officer. If he was crazy, he was throwing chairs around. And, well, yeah, that's what happens when you take a mentally ill person and, and put them in this scenario. That's what's going to happen. So. Attorney Dan Smolin is representing Phelps in his criminal case. Phelps is facing new charges, including battery of a detention officer, all before Phelps broke his neck and pelvis while alone in his cell. The sheriff's office calling his release last month a cost-saving measure. I mean, this was is doing, so we're certainly not going to pay for that. Sheriff Regalado's office did not want to talk about Fulps or the video today. Smolin says jail staff did not allow Fulps to take his medication, which treats his illness. Uh, and the scenario that's created in, when you do that is a danger to your detention staff, a danger to your inmate, uh, in this case Mr. Phelps, uh, and a danger to the other inmates. Um, and it's that course of action that we've advocated for a long time needs to be changed. Phelps, meanwhile, now in the Washington County Jail. He's charged with leading Bartersville police on a 17-mile chase in a stolen car. That all happened a short time after Tulsa Hospital released him. Brian Miller, two works for you. The search is